Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition. Uh, whichever one this is. It's not Tai- for some reason I can remember Tai Chi. <laughs> I can remember Iron Triangle, which I've never played on the channel. Sphere of Influence just doesn't want to stay in my head. At any rate, um... I actually own- like, people have asked about it in the comments, and I, I guess I, I know... Can't expect, expect everyone to have read every comment in the comments on prior videos, but I've had enough people ask uh, about, oh, are you going to try the new Nobunaga's Ambition game when it comes out? Yes, I actually own it at this point, but I'm not going to play it till I finish this run through. So, yes, it's coming. If you're uh, expecting this run through to be a quick, brief thing, then you're not familiar, A, either with this game or B, the pace at which I just play games in general. I'm taking my time here. Um, in, in the gameplay, yeah, in, in the, the year sense, like, we're moving hyper-aggressively across Japan based on the actual timeline of how long it took, like, no, we're not going to get this done. Um, so it doesn't feel like it when you're watching it in a menu-driven video game, but if you look at the actual dates and months, um, we're moving really quickly in that sense. And part of what we're doing now is, we're going to have to do a domestic turn here, but... Well, we're trying to finish off the Oda, and their allies are now making that annoyingly difficult for us. Because we are... Uh, I don't know that we're going get, to uh, get this done in time. We've got a Gwenoku boss, and we've got Vulture Bronco. Vulture Bronco may have to move to try to... Oh, well, you know what we could do? We could switch to... Uh, they're encircling. Can I switch to, uh, instead of doing a blockade, have them storm? That might take the castle before the Asakura can arrive. Maybe the Asakura even turn around. Problem is, if I pull Bo uh, Vulture Bronco off, I really don't want to risk the life of my nephew's avatar. I don't know how I explained to Bobo. Yeah, Bronco got killed. Uh, I just figured he could fight off a series of really weak individual units. Nagamasa Azai is going to be a problem. Uh, so having, uh, having Shaman's, uh, support would be good. Like, sending Bronco off in zone to fight these guys might be bad. We've also got Colin Awarisana trying to defeat Nayotaka Magara so that... Yeah, this is just, uh... Gonna be a pain in the ass to take Gifu Castle, because they're just not wanting to give it up. If we can get to where Gujo Hachiman Castle is the last refuge of the Oda, then we can take it and their whole officer corps with ease, and it'll be much more difficult for the Azai and Asakura to support. They could send... The Azai could support. Uh, Asakura could support. The Azai and the Rokoku, like, they would have to march into our castles to relieve Gujo Hachiman, and I don't think they will do that. Anyway, it's actually a domestic turn, so let's get our domestic business taken care of. Kyosu Castle can... Oh, Kyosu's Castle's got a lot of expansion it can do. Going to Hachimangu. Maximum popularity greatly increases. That's This seems like not what I would have built if it was me. So let's go to Workshop and actually back off so that we can get a theater and a no theater. Because you know, I like... Uh, Kabuki. Could go church is what I'd be doing if I was uh, churches and cathedrals. When I'm progressive, I'm just building Christian churches all over the place because it gives me uh, innovation, which is good if you're progressive. But more important, it's like a double dr drill grounds. Drill grounds makes it more. Now this is slightly more. This is makes it more. It might be that the two of them together, like once you get to cathedral, it's the same impact as a drill grounds. But I usually prefer theater and no theater. Oh, we've only got one guy who can do... Ah, that's a thing, isn't it? Why aren't we doing an inn? This is this is a castle that seems to have gotten a lot of development before we got here. Golden Tea House increases innovation. Yeah, this is none of this is what we want. But uh, how many officers do we have here?
one of four. The others are, are they deployed? Are they working on, yeah, they're all deployed. Kenny Meta is actually, he's the overseer. Well, why, why can't you do it? What are you doing? I'm not sure why they're not available. What are they working on? It says order, location, order, imperial court, deploy, deploy. Okay, like, whatever. We can't, we can't seem to use them right now. So we, well, we can have him slowly working on all this stuff and not being overseer for a while, I suppose. How long is this going to take him? 53. Yeah, it's, it's going to take forever. Let's just ignore that place then, which is a shame. We'll have to, we'll have to get it straightened out later. Rice dealer. This is a city I have been running, so it's more in line with obviously where I'm at. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like that's most of our stuff. So Kiyosu Castle has got Maybe give Kyosu Castle a little bit more, uh... Oh no, Kyosu Castle only has two. Is I looking at the wrong, uh... That's why they're... Oh, there's probably people on the way, because I just took it over. Okay. That's probably what it is. So Kyosu is where I was uh, trying to do the building, and it wasn't happening, right? Yeah, Kyosu Castle. Okay, so it's... It doesn't have a whole lot of guys there, but there's a lot of work to be done. So maybe we can throw them one more middling pole guy. It's right on the front line. That's probably why I haven't been... you got these guys who are... Their loyalty is in orange, so I'm not in a rush. And, and looks like I'd already distributed my decent pole officers. That's not that shocking. Start. You start collecting garbage units, uh, uh, officers, or just... Oh, man, I'm knocking stuff over all over the place here. Officers who just aren't really that great, and uh, and it, they're fine for like maintaining cities that you just need overseers and maybe occasionally somebody to build a new facility, but it's not often like you can't have like rock star political officers everywhere. All right. I don't know what there is to be done with diplomacy here. Probably not. Oh, we're back to normal relations with the Uesugi. And I'm not going to butter them up because... I mean, they're, they're, they're just our enemies. There's not going to be a point where we're not enemies with those guys. In theory, it could have been useful to... to get friendship going with any of these groups here, but they're all hostile. So it's going to cost a lot of money to get it going. I suppose... Are we doing... Imp yeah, we're doing uh, Diplomacy of the Imperial Court for the first time in a while. Covert is what I think I meant to look for here. This place is... They are... They are riding hard for the Oda. Well, not for much longer, they're not. Now, these guys that are never going to see combat as support again, like we could. A hundred guys. I guess I could find out what, what would happen if we absorbed some of these clans. Like, what would we actually get for it? We get, we'd lose gold, we get some population, we get higher max soldiers. Oh, we get an officer out of it. I don't usually bother with this, but... And they're all going to Tsuchigasaki. So they give us, like, horses and, and gold if we leave them alone. And this is like a one-time lump. We spend gold, but we get a lump payment of... I mean, it might be fun with... Some of the ones that actually come with officers, it might be interesting to see. But by and large, I don't think we need to worry about this. All right. Well, if we're not building uh, these labor, or these facilities, rather. 
This place is all filled up, and in theory, it could get a depot, but it doesn't seem likely that that's ever going to happen. Enclosure annex. I don't think that'll ever be considered. Like, I, I need these castles to be strong as far as, like, growth, because we'll eventually be attacking out of them. Not doing very much with muskets. Do Baileys increase your uh, slightly increased attack power of units with horses? Yep. That's worth building for us. It's not cheap. I don't want to start throwing that stuff around like crazy, but the cities that we're going to be attacking out of, I'm saving room for. I'd like to save one slot so we can potentially get a depot. This will take a while, but it doesn't really matter. It's just something I want there to be around in the long run. This is clearly a place where I started building it up and then forgot about it. So an annex would take us up to where we've got one spot left where we could, in theory, eventually build a depot. So that's perfect. Now that we've spent all of our money... Wow, I really did spend all of our money. Yikes. All right, let's sell some food. What would you like? Thank you very much. That was a lot. What but we need like? to get horses. Because we need to keep Thank the offense going. We need to be ready to... Not just crush the Yoda, but I, I kind of... I want to be ready to really go full bore against the Uesugi when the time comes long-term thinking there let's just develop then see if we got we got labor left we're always going to have labor left this road goes to Ganyama, so it should be increased koya kiyosu these these roads have been built up. So the ones that directly benefit... Let Jaxers Baldo do that, because she's not an overseer. Yeah, I don't think I realized just how much road work could still go on for Iwamura. But that'll be all of our money again. Yikes. Okay, well, there's all of our money. Again, I sold all the food and immediately went through the money again. So I need to be more careful. But we also need to get our plan straight here. Okay, so when we get back, we are going to... We're continuing our attack here. I think we need to uh, raise instead of just encircling normally because... We finish it off. Maybe that's what we're already doing, and I'm not realizing it. But we finish it off. Then we just park here and let these guys attack us, and we can use the castle defenses to aid. Colin Awarisana needs to take out uh, Naotaki Magara. We'll have Mazuki Sanada block Oichi. Just because she'll interfere with the sea. She's, she's, she will be easy to defeat. But that'll... that'll uh, Bobo will just kind of park here, and then as these guys finish their fights, they come in circle, and we hope that we have enough food to do it. We may end up having to use raise attacks against Gifu Castle, just because it's a really good castle. Alright, let's get a, got a timer going that using my phone instead of my computer today, so it's, it takes a little longer to check. Oh, are you running? That would be handy for us, actually. So we're going to storm the castle. So are you retreating or not? What's going on here? Looks like these guys might be coming to, to Gifu and not to uh, Ogaki. Hit points are zero. Does that mean we just won or we have, to, we have to finish off those remaining troops? Okay. And it's still not a battle that we can do in the normal way. All right. Well, I think Oichi is going to be just defeated before it's worth uh, switching over. So that's fine. 
This battle, on the other hand, will be worth fighting once it's set up. You aren't getting out of this. Did you see that? There's no way you expected this. And then he does a ninja pose. So I've, so I've picked up the swift trait. I better keep on my toes. So I've picked up the elite ninja trait. I better keep on my toes. I've gained the schemer trait. Perfect for being at the Imperial Court, which is also happening right now. All right. Well, here's where now... Here's now where I think these guys get in here and... Do what they can. Leave it to me. Acknowledge. And hopefully we don't lose anybody. So we have one uh, fairly tough customer, and then a couple of quite a few units that are all weak, but there's a bunch of them. And eventually, Kazumasu Isono is coming. That will be no good for us, really. Oichi's unit, you're no match for Mazayuki. And I would venture to say that is true. Mazayuki can uh, Sanada, better known as a military commander than Oichi was, to be honest. I hope that's Vulture Bronco on the front, because he's got more troops, yes. Shaman can help, but uh, we're going to want Bobo or Bronco taking the lead. Oh, like these guys are, yeah, they're... So you get back, you coward. You didn't expect this. This should be a sneak attack, because he was... He's running away, but apparently Bronco's ninja powers aren't quite that extensive yet. Understood. Gagatake Azakura, I don't know how important he is in the overall Azakura clan. He's clearly a clan member. Rampage. Uh... All right. Bond breaker would be useful too. Bronco taking very few losses here, which is good, because he's got a lot of fighting left to do if he's going to give his father the opening he needs to take Yifu Castle. That's kind of a narrative I hadn't considered. It's it's the son going on a very high-risk mission uh, against a lot of foes. Shaman is in position. This is good. I was a little worried. Not that it matters for this fight, but I was a little worried he wouldn't be able to support in battles on this path because he would be blocked by Bronco. But it looks like that won't be a problem. All right, so the first of these wave of weak units down with no major damage taken by us. But uh, it's going to get tricky here. Gifu, uh, let's see, we've got almost six. Call that nine. Call that ten, because I was uh, rounding up up to this point. Gifu's got 1150. He's got about three. Yeah, so we'll have enough for an encirclement of Gifu. The question of whether we should raise or just try to starve them out is going to depend on how long we think Bronco and uh, Shaman can hold. 1,500-ish, 1,200, We are definitely outnumbered overall, but they won't be bringing all their numbers to bear in any single battle. Those who are able, follow me. And I, this may turn into us getting encircled as well. Although Shaman not in position to help with this one yet. Let's go. Maybe to our advantage to finish this one quickly. Understood. Being ultra aggressive. You don't stand a chance. But I think I'll actually stick with. Uh, I think I'll try not to take damage by going for a charge, even though that could work. Yeah. Never mind. Quick win might have been the thing. Trying to move away from that unit so that we... Oh, there we go. He's charging me. So let's keep up the move we were already making here. 
You guys, let's finish them off. Daddy, what are you saying? No. Nope. Uh, Bronco is not going to be able to defeat this many troops. We're going to have to either... Uh, start trying to raise that castle or... Or reorganize our fighting and get somebody to come out here and help. I wonder if I can back off until uh, Shaman arrives. Got a speed advantage. Maybe wait out their tactic here. Leave it to me. Because he's got more troops. Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't know he'd be coming from over there. Yes, my lady. Didn't mean to have it going quite that fast. Yes, my leech. I can fight too. Maiden warrior become temporarily invincible. It's a maiden form warrior. You never know where she'll come in next. Yeah, this is going to be tough. We're not going to be able to fight off all of the armies that are coming. Beat Ninja unleashes power. Retreat. Oh, what the hell? When did this happen? Oh, but I think, uh, it's maybe Nobunaga himself. We were just given a gift. We can knock down the walls after we win this fight and then pull Bobo or, or whatever our strongest unit back that we can afford to lose can, co can pull back. Advance. Advance. Yeah, Nobunaga just gave us a gift, you guys. Because uh, if we weaken his troop count, we can uh, charge the walls and lower their hit points and it'll be easier to besiege. And we really want to actually have the damages taken by this. Well, no, because this numbers count too. It's just as valuable as the as anyone else now in that sense. You don't have something that breaks. Uh, no. We used bond. We used bond breaker, but uh, might not be that useful uh, yes, with just one unit here. Triple shooting is pretty uh, devastating when uh, a good unit like Nobunaga's is using it. Ideally, we'll knock down enough points that Bobo can pull away from the siege and actually fight. Because his unit, even though we took some losses here, is pretty impressive. Get an enemy unit right in front of their castle. Oh yeah! That was, no, that was, that was major. Nobunaga shot himself in the foot there. So between Colin... They will now have enough if they uh, get a tribal unit to support them. If they don't, Colin Owari Sanada should do it. 
If we can get Bobo to come down here and stop whatever Mitsuhide Toyano thinks he's doing. And hope these other guys are just scrambling around being weirdos and are not actually going to come up to attack. Bobo's got 4,000 troops. He'd have to fight off. This is still going to be tough. 25, 1,000, 1,500. Yeah. Corner the enemy. All right. We'll keep Shaman here to support Bobo. Understood. Oh, and Vulture Bronco has tribal support. Which is nice, because this is a bigger unit than we thought it was. We thought it was like 500. So we'll get our tribes to, to do most of the fighting for us, hopefully. Follow me. Where the hell is our tribal unit? Or do they have a tribal unit? Understood. Alright. Okay, good. This is our unit. That's good. Understood. I was worried that they might have had support. So we're gonna let we're gonna let Vulture Bronco back off and try to make them fight through the defenses as much as we can. Yeah, Vulture Bronco can just play keep away. He's a ninja. This isn't like outside of his yes, ethos or anything. He's He's using, like, maneuverability and subterfuge to draw the enemy into a bad position. I believe they've lost sight of Bobo's position as well. Yeah, he's wheeling around to face the tribals. Now Bobo can come up from behind. Uh, uh, Bronco, excuse me. There's some tough adversaries, and I'm not that good at my job. It's going for war cry. I can counter that with, uh, disheartened, but only when I get close enough. Actually, while they're doing release, uh, meleeing them while they're stuck in a rifle formation pointing in the wrong direction might be really good. Let's get this started. Oh no, we're taking losses here more than I expected. Oh well, we just won. But Bronco is, is essentially defeated here, so we really need to hope that, uh... Really need to hope he doesn't get engaged in any more combat. Like, if these guys do start popping up here, we're in trouble. But, uh... Timer says it's time to call it a video. Are these guys rethinking? They may be rethinking. It's going to take a while to besiege this castle. We're going to be seeing some food problems before it's done. But... I might want to just take a look and see how long we think it's going to take. Let's see where these guys in the south are heading at this point. Are they marching out of here? Because it looks like the guy that was parked up here has moved, but they might be moving down here to come up this way. The other thing is, of course, it could be time to actually deploy more troops. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. We, we have some troops in these newly conquered castles. Don't necessarily have the greatest ever officers, but 5,000 fresh troops is not going to be... There's, there's nothing wrong with sending 5,000 fresh troops up here. Even if they don't, even if they don't have, like, overstated created officers to lead them. 5,000 troops is 5,000 troops. 
Our collusion message has returned with a reply from Yoshiaka Ashikaga. To think that you would have such need of me. I will join you joyfully. Let me gather my things. So we hired away the Shogun. These guys look like they're backing away. These guys don't look like they're coming up either. Maybe we pull him up and get whoever has the least food left to back off. Yeah, I think we I think Bobo's presence was enough to stall them. They know they can't beat Bobo. He's got too many troops. So they were willing to come after those weaker units, but now that Bobo's in the way, I cannot believe sickness has taken me. Picked up the schemer trait, gained the diplomat trait. Let us begin the meeting. I think we might have just secured Gifu Castle, guys. I think Bobo Bobo's presence was enough to just intimidate the Oda allies and make them give up the fight. Bronco did some good work, but uh, he basically bought time for Bobo. Once Bobo was there, they, they lost their nerve. Reporting in. We have Gifu Castle surrounded by a force of 7,000. Should fall rather quickly. Here's last month's balance. We spent more than we made, and we sold the maximum amount of food you can sell in a month. But we got 2,000 horses from our supporting tribes. One of the reasons that I'm not just absorbing the ones we can't absorb. Got a Ronin or two. Overall, I think that turn went really well for us. We'll need to get some folks in Ogaki Castle. Uh, I'm going to want to move some pretty damn good units into Gifu Castle once we take it over. That's going to kind of be our new front base. Uh, I mean, sh uh, Shingen himself might end up staying in uh, Tsujikasaki Palace just because it's been our headquarters. It's I, I guess it's like that was his father's headquarters, but honestly, he probably should he should probably personally move to Gifu Castle. Um, but we definitely want we definitely want some good units there because this is a place. Once we take it over, it's going to be very important to our front line. Like the I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we may end up taking Nijo Palace with troops marching out of Gifu. At any rate, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back next time. That turn was pretty important. Uh, the Oda were always going to fall to us. A uh, matter of how many more years it was going to take really depended a lot on how well that offensive went. And uh, it now looks like it's... Yeah, but I don't want to get overconfident, but it looks really likely we're going to take Gifu. And unless I've just spent all of our food and we really need to wait another season, Gujo Hachiman is not going to be able to stand without Gifu. When we've taken Gifu, we've basically beaten the Oda. It's just a matter of... Do I feel like letting them live for a couple of months in their one isolated castle? Uh, the main thing about taking Gifu is that, yeah, if we'd taken Gujo Hachiman first, it would have made no difference to our assault on Gifu. But taking Gifu, which is a much bigger undertaking, but it basically cuts Gujo Hachiman off from any reinforcement by anyone except maybe the Asakura. So the fact that we were able to pull that out was important. That could have gone either way. I really didn't want to put too much pressure on Bronco's unit because I didn't want to have to explain to Bobo if, like, he died in battle. So I'm glad that he was able to play a role and that we were able to get him out safely. So when we come back next time, we're going to have more of this. Hope you're down. See you then.